Okay, so today we're talking about uh, Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. But uh, this is not a review for that animated film. Uh, I'll just say I saw it and I thought it was a masterpiece. Uh, this is about one incy beansy teeny weeny little problem I had with an otherwise epic movie. And that was that there wasn't a cameo by a certain actor I wanted to hear from in this movie. And uh, if you don't know what I'm talking about, I of course am talking about Nicholas Hammond. My favorite Spider-Man of all time. Now, uh, for those of you who don't know, in the 1970s, they had a uh, live-action Spider-Man TV show. And this Australian actor named Nicholas Hammond, of course, played Peter Parker slash Spider-Man. And I saw his uh, TV show in the 90s when they were airing it on the USA Network during Thanksgiving, of all things. And he has always been my favorite live-action Spider-Man performer. His uh, Spider-Man was an adult. He was never some teenager in high school, uh, as compared to all the other live-action Spider-Mans. He just, you know, he started out in college, gets bitten by the spider, then he goes and works for the newspaper... And when I was collecting Spider-Man at that point, Spider-Man was an adult who had been out of high school and out of college. So that's, that's what I liked about him. Anyway, whenever there's a Spider-Man movie, I'm hoping that Nicholas Hammond will make a cameo appearance in it. Especially in uh, the last live-action Spider-Man movie, Spider-Man No Way Home, where they had three Spider-Man, but they didn't have Nicholas Hammond. He didn't do a cameo. And he said... He's willing to do it if anyone asks. Now, I was hoping maybe they would put him in this movie, seeing how they have all of these Spider-Man variants that we run into. You got Cowboy Spider-Man. You got, like, Spider-Man cats and horses. It's like, well, how come we don't have Nicholas Hammond voicing a Spider-Man in this movie about multiple Spider-Men? It just, it, it, it fails the mind. It, it reminds me of how we haven't had a Captain Harry Kim cameo in the new Star Trek shows. Even though there's been so many opportunities to put Captain Harry Kim in an episode. There's all these episodes where they always have a bunch of ships and you hear all these voices and you could have had someone say, Hey, this is Captain Harry Kim of the USSS Hammond. Same thing with uh, Nicholas Hammond. I think there's been plenty of opportunities to put him in a Spider-Man movie, and we haven't seen it yet. And I'm hoping that this video will, you know, you'll you'll share it, and we can get Nicholas Hammond uh, a cameo in the next Spider-Man Spider-Verse uh, film if they if they're not done making it already. You know, somewhere in there playing, you know, the voice of some Spider-Man. Now I know. Maybe they can't get the rights to the Spider-Man he played in the 1970s. It, you know, they have to go through CBS or whatnot. But he can play a different Spider-Man. He could be the 1970s Spider-Man. It'd be like uh, a Spider-Man in like a leisure suit. And going, hey, what's going on, guys? And then he gets into an argument with another 1970s Spider-Man about which one of them should be the, the 1970s Spider-Man. And the other one can be played or, you know, voiced by... By Christopher Daniels Barnes, who of course voiced uh, Spider-Man in the uh, 1990s animated TV show. I really don't understand why he wasn't in this, given that he's done voice acting before. Like I said, you can't get him to play a Spider-Man. He could be, you know, a cab driver. Or maybe at some point a bunch of the spiders... They go to this German-themed restaurant, and there's this, you know, group of singers there. They're singing a lot of German tunes, you know, my favorite things. And guess who one of the singers is? You know, Frederick von Trapp himself, Nicholas Hammond. I, I, I'm just, I want to see it, man. You know, he's getting up there in age, in the 70s, Nicholas Hammond. And I just, I'd like to see him get some respect for the Spider-Man that he played. Uh, those are my two cents on that. What do you think? Nicholas Hammond, should he have a cameo in a Spider-Man movie?
That's right, Steve. I am you, and you are me. And this is a gun.